welcome to Bay's Log Life. I'm May, and this video is of my first impression of Blug's brand new release, the Strut Shoulder Bag. They just released it this morning at like 1 a.m. or something on QVC. Um, I saw the ads yesterday and um, never logged on to see anything until now. Um, and I really was a little bit surprised that the name Strut is actually in the well, it's actually the name of the bag because they put that word in all of their advertising and I didn't really think that it was going to be literal. Um, I don't know what I was thinking they were going to release, but um, anyway, this is it. So yeah, uh, at first glance, obviously this is um, Lug's uh, attempt again at more formal, more, um, yeah, like sort of more formal wear bags. So I, I think they attempted that with the, um, like that musical line where there was like the Allegro and the Presto and they had a very similar, um, quilting. Um, but there was the original fabrication. So the lug fabrication and, um, I don't know. And there were lots of like colors, like, like very typical lug colors, like the bright colors, like the contemporary, uh, teal and cobalt, um, you know, like the hot, like the, the right, bright pinks and things like that. So very, very colorful, um, very lug. And, um, I don't know how well they sold. I don't know if they did really, really well. I know that um, it took them a little while to move that product. Uh, I know it's still around. Um, I think it's on their clearance page. So I think they, you know, I don't know if that was a, a line that really worked for them. So obviously they're trying again. Um, I think Amy's gotten some kind of, um, I don't know, I'm assuming that she's got another event she has to go to because I believe um, the previous, uh, that previous line with the Allegro and all those guys, um, I think she had to go to the SAG Awards and didn't actually have a bag. So she decided to design her own bag um, so that she could use her own lug bag to take to the awards and, um, and then release them. So I'm wondering where Amy's going this year, that she needs another really fancy bag and decided, I'm just gonna make one. So wouldn't that be cool? Like if you just like had a company, you could say, I need this. And then I'm just going to make a bunch and then sell them. <laughs> like I, that's kind of hilarious. So I do wonder what kind of occasions that Amy's got lined up for the summer or maybe the fall. And this was the bag she needed and ta-da, um, here it is. So, um, yeah. So at first glance, it is, um, definitely a more formal bag. Um, I see that there's uh, the uh, gunmetal chain strap and I don't see another one, which makes me think that they're just going to go this route. So um, I guess we'll just look at the colors first. I just happened to click on this one because I was like, like really excited to see it. And I went, wait a minute, I haven't even recorded this video. So instead of, I'm, I kind of forgot that I do these now. So I stopped myself at the black. So let's go back to the very first color which is apparently metallic walnut. So let's get a, look, a larger view on that one. It's walnut and it's very metallic. And I don't know if that gunmetal finish works with that. I guess it does. I guess gunmetal goes with everything, doesn't it? Um, it's kind of like a black metal. Um, oh, it's a thin bag. It's really, really thin, I think. All right, so let's see what we, yep, it's thinner. So it's not as bulky as the, um, the ones in the musical line, like the Presto Allegro and all those. Um, very similar stitching though, I think. Very similar. Ooh, look at the inside. <gasps> okay, I actually love that interior. <laughs> I'm a bit of a sucker for that boho floral print on the inside of that. I love that print. I definitely, definitely want this now just because of that interior. Um, and okay, very, very, actually, I love that girl's dress. <laughs> Can I have the dress? That's a beautiful dress. Um, okay, so clearly this is a much more formal bag. Uh, they're trying to stay away from the more casual, uh, I guess, more casual lugs. Because most of lugs bags, let's admit it, they're more casual. Um, and, uh, you know, it is hard to find something that you really need to have a very formal occasion, like a really fancy wedding or, uh, yeah, like, you know, you're going to an award show um, or anything like that. Like any, any time where you would need to wear a gown um, or a very, very fancy dress. So I actually really like her dress. <laughs> I'm just going to hang on. Let's go back here. I really like her dress. Is it just me? I, oh, I can't, I can't scroll up and down. Okay. Um, so I just love, I just love that dress. I kind of want it. Okay. Um, let's see here. I saw another photo and actually, you know what? It looks really cool. If you have a really casual outfit as well, that actually looks pretty fun. Like it's not, 
I thought maybe it'd be too formal to wear on a just a regular basis, but I see women all the time wearing really, really nice bags with a pair of jeans, and it really sort of, you know, dresses up the whole, the whole outfit. And oh, there they are, there's all the colors. So it's really only one interior print. So that, so only two have the boho floral, and then, um, oops, sorry. And the other ones all have, so it's called Sketch Floral Blush. Okay, I actually love all of these interior prints. There's not one here that I don't like, which is rare. Usually when I see these bags, there's always a print I don't like um, on the interior. But so far, I would not be upset to get any of these interiors. I love them all. So that's a plus. Um, and that's, oh yeah, so now we're seeing a different color. Okay, I wonder what size phone that is. And there's lots of pockets. Okay, really like this. Um, okay, so let's, okay, so that's just sort of a quick tour. Um, okay, so we got the, where are we here? The walnut, metallic walnut. Let's see the metallic black, a little bit larger. Okay. It's a bit shiny, isn't it? I'm not sure if I love it in the black. Again, you know, I have to kind of see these metallics. I don't know. Well, that's really pretty. <laughs> The black and the pink is really pretty together. That's a really nice interior for a black bag. Um, and I'm not even a pink person. I really actually don't like pink per se. And here I am, with, this is a very, very pink interior and I really like it. Um, oh, it's a very short strap. So it's just a shoulder strap. It's not a, it's, I guess you wouldn't want a crossbody, but um, yes, I, I guess you could. Um, okay, so let's go back here. Let's look at the metallic champagne. Now that actually, oops, hang on. So that actually does look, should I just put one in my cart? <laughs> that actually looks really nice. I quite like that. But again, I don't know how shiny this is. Is this going to be really shiny? Like, is this going to be really pearly? But it's a really, it's a nice neutral though. Like that, like that's a nice, like again, if you go, if you got like a really nice light outfit, um, that's a really light color that you can wear and carry. Okay, and that's the interior. Oh, I like it. I actually kind of like it, but I have nowhere fancy to go. I don't, my life is so, so not fancy anymore. It never really was, but it's, uh, I keep, I keep putting these in my cart. <laughs> Apparently I'm going to buy every color. Uh, oops, hang on. I can't, I can't scroll. Can I, can I scroll? No, I can't scroll. Okay, hang on. Let me just move this whole window up. I can't go any further. Okay, I, let's just move on to the next photo because it's not centering. Okay, you know what? That's nice. That's nice. It's a good neutral. These are good neutrals. These are all really good neutrals. And that's the interior. I don't like that as much. I think it's a little too pink maybe because of the silver. Um, oh, and there's a pink. Oh my God, there's an actual metallic pink. Wow. Look at that. That's a peachy pink. It's like a very... Uh, point shoe, ballet shoe pink. Um, so those satin point shoes that you see ballet dancers wearing, that's, that's what that looks like. That looks like a ballet shoe. Um, not sure if I love it because again, not a pink person, but, uh, yeah, if you like pink, that's pink. And then, but it's a really nice pink though. Actually, it's, it's actually a really nice pink. Um, but it's a peachy pink. And then this is what, I'm sorry. Metallic silver. Okay, this is the actual metallic. Okay, so this is the color that they've had other bags in already. So this is the metallic silver, and I actually have seen this, I think, now um, on the strap of my Rover XL. So this is not going. Okay, so it's got the pink interior. I like that. Again, I definitely like it, but um, I just don't know where I'd wear this. Okay, so let's look at the, um, let's let's read the thing here. For de date nights, weddings, <laughs> uh, other special events, keep strut by your side. Ideal as an evening clutch or over the shoulder bag with the gunmetal chain. Uh, this design features uh, one main compartment with a magnetic snap uh, closure, uh, soft line pink sorry, pink, soft lined back zipper pocket, uh, front bubble quilting. Okay. So by the way, I, if you're not, sh if you've heard me this just now, I'm actually a little dyslexic. So if you ever hear me like not reading, it's cause I'm really afraid to read, but just now I decided to read cause I really haven't had a chance to look at this at all. Um, so I apologize for the complete illiteracy there. Uh, okay. 12 inches wide. 
So it's a foot long, like that way, and then six and a half inches high and two inches deep. Okay, so it's it's a pretty big bag. It's bigger than I thought it was gonna be. Like that's that's a foot, that's big. Um, I thought it would be smaller because it looks like it's supposed to be like a nice evening bag if they call it a clutch. Like I don't, I always find like big clutches not clutchy because um, a clutch you want to be able to put under your arm and be able to sort of keep it there without having to work too hard. But that's, that's huge. Which is good, I guess, because if you really want to, you know, if you want to carry a lot of stuff, that's great. All right, so one main compartment with magnetic snap closure, one soft line back zipper pocket. I guess that's the phone pocket. Um, one removable gunmetal chain strap. Okay, so there's no other strap. Uh, unique bubbling, sorry, unique front bubble quilting, and then there's two cargo pots on the pockets on the inside. One clear zipper pocket. Oh, it's a clear view. Well, that's nice. That's a nice feature because none of these bags ever have a clear view. Um, if you ever get like a really nice evening bag, they never have a clear view. You're, you're lucky if it has a zipper. Um, so that's pretty sweet. Okay, let's look at the video. Now, I'm not going to play the music because the last time I played music on one of these videos, I got copyright dinged. So you're, you're, you're going to listen to this in silence. Well, not in silence because I'm going to be talking all the way through. So I, I, I apologize if you are waiting for silence, but here we go. So it is big. When you now stick, now that I'm really looking at it, it's actually not a small bag. Like she's not a big girl, so she's, you know, it's, it's going to look big, but that's not a small bag. I don't know. Do I really want a, such a short shoulder strap? I feel like that might be too tight. I don't think that would be comfortable. So it's just got the magnetic closure. It doesn't have a zipper. I think I would prefer this have a zipper. I feel like the magnetic closure is fine, but it would be nice if it had the option that you could actually zip that shut to really make sure that nothing fell out. Yeah, that clear view is nice. And it goes, it looks like all the way to the bottom of the bag. And then this, the phone pocket in the bag. That's a really pretty set. Look at them all together. Okay, you know what? Those look really nice together. <laughs> That's a really, really pretty little set they've got there. Those are nice. Uh, now that you're seeing them all together like that, all side by side, they're really pretty. They're all really nice neutrals. So you've got like, you know, some nice fun feminine things, um, some a few darker things, like you know, sort of more autumn, winter colors, if you're wearing a really darker, a dark outfit. And then you've got a bunch of neutrals, like really nice neutrals, like the silver and whatever that is. And then I think the champagne, um, pearl, is that it? One of the, one of the metallic pearl. So, um, yeah, I like the colors. I think the offering is really, really nice. It is a super, super neutral line. And you could, like if you bought every one of these, you would definitely have a bag for every dress and every, you know, any outfit that you could possibly ever put together. And one of these is gonna work. So that's really nice. I'm really glad they did that. Um, okay, so let's watch that again. I'm gonna go back to the beginning and I'm, I'm gonna pause it. So I think the one thing I'm not sure if I love is the fact that it's quilted on the inside. So I love the quilting on the outside, that's really nice. But then when you open it, this is quilted as well. I don't know, I feel like that would have been nicer if it was plain. That's just my own thing. Um, and then, um, I don't know, I guess maybe it's too much quilting. I'm not a massive fan of a ton of quilting, but I guess it doesn't matter. <laughs> but it's, you know what? It's a little unfortunate there's only one length of strap. I don't love wearing just like just like armpit bags. I call them armpit bags because they pretty much just live under your armpit. Um, and if yeah, like if you happen to be large chested, like I know a, a couple of my friends have large breasts, and if you've got like an armpit bag, it really really gets in the way. And because your breasts kind of sit there, it pushes the bag in a funny place. So they actually don't like um, like bags that are that short. They prefer them a little bit longer or they prefer like a crossbody so they can wear it across their whole chest and in between their breasts, <laughs> I've been told. Um, so just cause I just have a friend who's like obsessed with how she wears her bags and she's always really picky about which bags she wears because of her larger breasts. So I'm, I'm aware of that too now because of her. So I, I see bags on like from her standpoint as well. Um, 
I think it's a bit too big as a clutch. So that's a big bag. <laughs> and I prefer when I have a clutch, I actually like a wristlet on it so that even if it's a little bit bigger, then I at least know that I've got a hold of it. Because sometimes, you know, you're shaking hands with someone, you've got a glass of something. If you put that thing down, it's gone. Um, but at least if it's somehow attached to you, it's a little bit easier. But if it's over your shoulder, it doesn't always work with your outfit. So I don't know. I kind of like it might be a little bit too big. But maybe that's, you know, when you really need a small clutch, maybe you get a different bag. So um, I wonder if Lug is coming out with even something smaller. That would be kind of sweet if they had something a little bit smaller with a wristlet. Okay, I still think that that would be... Oh, okay, let's go back. I just saw a new minuet, right? Did I just see a new minuet? Oh, okay. Check it out. Or is that an old minuet? Is that an old minuet? That looks like it's like a like a like a blush pink minuet. I don't remember if minuets were ever released in blush pink. Am I insane? Um, maybe it was. Okay, maybe that's an older wallet. But I know for sure you can't get one anymore. Um, that's really pretty. <laughs> okay. Anyway, sorry. I just I love minuets. I happen to have a few, and I think. Now that I'm thinking about maybe it, maybe they have had them before and it must've been one of those colors that sold out super, super fast. And that's why I don't have one. Cause I think I like that wallet. I like that color. Again, I'm not a pink person, but every once in a while, something's really called to me and that one's calling me, calling to me probably cause it's a minuet. Okay. Sorry. Uh, let's move on. Uh, but that wallet really looks good in that, in that bag. Just saying. Um, okay. So, so they've got like a choo choo mini thing of pills in there. Uh, oh, look at this. Look at how cute. Is that like a lipstick pocket? Oh my God. Is that, it's either like a lipstick pocket or a pen holder, but either way, that's cute. I have a feeling that might be a, like a lip gloss lipstick pocket because their pen holders don't usually have this little elastic -y thing around it. But that, see, why didn't they mention that in the, in the description? They just mentioned two cargo pockets and one clear view. They didn't mention this cute little thing. Okay, you know what? I may have to get it just because of that. Okay, um, I, like a lipstick pocket? Oh my God, totally, totally rocks. Okay, and then, sorry, I'm getting really excited about this bag and I don't even need it. That's so pretty. Look at that. See, all of my nicer bags you open up and they're just black and they're plain. I would love to have a really nice bag that I open up and I see this pretty print and it makes me happy just looking at it. Ugh, and I have nowhere to go anymore. Yes, look at that. So interior, side, small cargo pocket. They didn't mention that in the little description. Um, they just mentioned two cargo pockets and one clear view. Um, but that is freaking adorable. Um, let's look at that again, shall we? Look, oh, that's the best. Because you know what? That's the one thing when you're really, go when you're going out, that is the one thing you need to grab and touch up constantly. And that thing is always somewhere at the bottom or, you know, like it rolls into some other little crevice and you can't find it. The fact that there's a tiny little pocket just for that one little piece of makeup is, it's so thoughtful and so, so cute. I may have to get that for every single bag I ever have because I wear lip balm like I'm an, I'm a lip balm addict. So if I actually had a little spot in all of my bags that just held, that was just big enough for a little lip balm or a little lipstick or lip gloss, that would probably make my life. Just saying, I'm hoping Amy's hearing this and hope she figures out a way to put a lip balm thing in every bag. Okay. Sorry. Got a little excited there. Okay. <laughs> a, a bag with a lip balm pocket. Oh, yeah, and the clear view, that's so great. And I guess that's your cell phone pocket. That's really, okay. I may have to buy this bag for because of the lip balm pocket. I have bought a bag before because of the water bottle pocket inside. <laughs> so that, so the gondola back in the day, the old, the original gondolas, um, they had a, a water bottle pocket inside. I don't remember if the new ones do or not, but I basically bought one because I was like, holy crap, there's an actual water bottle pocket. Uh, or a water bottle po like pouch with a with um plastic line and a little elastic around it and it's the perfect place to put your water bottle i love it um so i bought it because of that one little pocket okay i really like this it's well designed i think the colors are great i think the selection of colors is really really useful um because you there are some things you just don't want to wear anything bright and there's sometimes you need a really nice bag 
um, it's and, and yeah, you know what? This would be a great thing. Like if you're gonna go see your friend, uh, you know, at a at a at a club, uh, because they're performing for the first time, and it's like a, and you just want to make it a special night out, and you know, you got your cosmos, you got your you know stilettos, and your really expensive jeans. That is gonna be a really 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 cute bag to carry. So anyway, that's not my life. I don't ever ever actually do those kinds of things, but I can totally see that being. A more versatile bag that you can use on a more casual event at a more casual event or a much more fancy event and you know what the price is not right it's not bad right now so this is the Canadian equivalency price there so $62 that's not insane for a bag of this type um, I definitely don't usually spend that much money on these kinds of bags because I will only use them once twice maybe <laughs> in a year at best um, and sometimes I only use them like once every three or four years. So I don't know if I'm going to buy this right now because my life is so not such that I need a bag like this. Like I basically am wearing pajamas 24 seven almost. So, um, yeah, I don't know, but I really like it. So anyways, that's my first impression. I love the features. I love the way it was designed. I like the shape. I love the, the size is a little bit big for me. But maybe you want a, like a bigger bag, and that's great. Um, that little lipstick pocket, man. Oh, that's that. That alone, I think, is worth me getting one. So we'll see. Um, I don't know how long the sale is on for, but I kind of still feel like I want to wait a little bit because I just don't really have the cash, and I don't know if this is something I'm going to use anytime soon. So should I put a lot of money into it right now? Eh. Anyways, I'm going to decide. So now that I've seen it, I'm going to think about it. Hopefully the sale will last a little bit longer than just, you know, the next few hours. Um, and we'll see. So if I get one, I guess I'll be in unboxing in a little while. So that's it for now. If you're getting one of these or you've already bought one of these, let me know and let me know which colors you're getting and why. Uh, and tell me what you think of all the features and where you would use it. Because I'm I'm not a fashionista. I have no idea. I don't know what else you would use this for. Um, I would just wear this if I was going to some really nice wedding. Um, that's probably as good as my life is ever going to get. Um, but all my friends are married and anybody else, I don't, I don't think I'm going to their wedding anytime soon. So <laughs> that's it. So that would be the only chance I would use it. Otherwise, it would just sit in my closet looking pretty. So let me know if you guys are going to use this and get it and um, tell me what you think. So that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Take care and I will see you next time.